So, let's start. My dear grade 7, are you ready? Grade yes, 7. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. yes, ma Thank you. So, please be seated and let's have a moment of science. Imagine, invent, and inspire. Okay, before we start, let's have a prayer to be led to us by uh, Maria Teya Ashley Galliardo. Almighty God, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide us all for your protection and love. We thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your et eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, thank you, Miss Galliardo. All right, let's check your attendance. Miss Kit Genesis Agluba, would you mind to check uh, the attendance, those uh, who are able to join with us despite of the internet connection? 13. Okay, nice. So 13 for your attendance. Meron tayong 13 na nakapag log in despite of the internet connection. Thank you, Miss Kit. Are you familiar with this activity? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma so let's have this bring me activity. All you have to do is to bring those things na nakikita nyo on the screen. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, bring me face mask. Bring me face mask. Bring me face mask. And patingin kung meron kayong mga face mask. Nice! Meron silang face mask. Very good. Another. Bring me... Alcohol. Nice! I have my alcohol too. Very good, Miss Altea. Wow, ready, ready in my grade 7. They have their own alcohol. Next. Bring me face shield. Bring me face shield. Nice! My mga face shield in my grade 7. So, here's my face shield. For only 75 pesos. <laughs> okay, very good. Lahat sila, my face shield, my alcohol, and face mask. Okay. Sa so, tingin nyo, ano yung mga roles ng, ano, ng face mask, face shields, and alcohol? The one? Yes, Miss Krisha? To protect us from the exposure of COVID-19. Okay, very good. Nice answer. So, we have to use those things in order for us to protect us from COVID-19 pandemic. This is the reason why you are here today having your online class because face-to-face -face class is suspended. So, I hope you are able to use those things in your daily living for you to avoid COVID-19 uh, virus. Okay. Nag-enjoy ba kayo sa simple activity natin for today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Nice. Okay, so you are expected uh, an online class rules. Kindly read the phrase. Uh, online class rule means... Crystal Joy, what is our first uh, online class rule? Turn your video on. Okay, so you have to turn your video on for the rest of this online session. In a uh, count of three, please open your camera and I want to see your beautiful faces. In one, two, three. Open your camera, my dear grade seven. Very good. Wow. Fresh na fresh. Open your camera. Open na. Wag nyo nang i-close. Second. 
All right, kindly read the second online class rules. Miss Altea. Mute your microphone unless unless it's your turn to speak. Third one. Miss Cheryl May Tapukol. Raise your hand if you want to say something. Yes, okay, very good. Next, Miss Galliardo. Ano yung pang apat nating class rule? Stay seated. Okay, Jess, stay seated. Next, to si Ian, Ian Kappa. Don't do other tasks while the class is, is ongoing. Okay, very good. And the next or the last online class rule? Yes, Miss Jello. You're raising your hand. Miss Jello, oh, what is our last? Okay, very good. So, you have to follow those online class rules for you to receive an awards later on. So, na merong um, nakalaan na puntos for those uh, online class rules. Okay? So, just a reminder, please open your camera until the last minute of this uh, video. I online class rather from the first rule you have to open your camera for you to receive the camera award all right let's review the past lesson with this uh, hidden word puzzle activity so once again let's have a moment of science imagine invent and inspire and do this task the hidden word puzzle are you ready Thumbs up if you're ready. I repeat, please open your camera. Thumbs up if you're ready. I can see you guys. All right. In this activity, the hidden in the word puzzle are the different spheres of the earth and the resources found in them. So, I hope uh, you still manage to remember the different spheres and the resources found in them. So, here's the hidden word puzzle. So, you have 30 seconds to find the different spheres and the resources found in them. Are you ready to find the hidden words? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay, if yes, would you mind to open your camera? Para makita ko yung mga magaganda ninyong mukha while uh, looking for the hidden words. Thank you, Miss Aldea. So, here's the hidden word puzzle. Look for the different spheres and the resources found in them. So, you have 30 seconds to look for the hidden word. Alright, time's up. Are you ready to show your answer or to share your answers? How many hidden words do we have? Ilan ang nahanap ninyo? How many words? Hidden words. From the one. Anyone? Huh? Only two? How about the others? How many words? Hidden words do we have? Yes, Miss Grisha. Six, ma'am. Wow, right. very good. Six. Okay. Anyone who wants to share their answers? What are those hidden words? We found yes. eight words. Eight words. Miss Altea, would you mind to share your answers? Nasaan yung walong uh, hidden word na yon? Okay, kindly share your answers. Pakibasa, anak. Metal, sun, copper, forest, energy, lithosphere, minerals, and atmosphere. Very good. How about the others? So, walo yung nakita niya. Eight. Miss Krisha, you're raising your hand. Yes. Lithosphere, atmosphere, metals, energy, mineral, and copper. 
Okay, nice answer. So let's check. I uh, check your own uh, answers, ha. Huh? So in this case, you are able to uh, develop the attitude of being an honest person. Okay. So let's see if you're correct. If your answers are all correct. The first one. Yes. We have the minerals, metals, atmosphere, biomes, sun, copper, forest, energy, and the last one. The lithosphere. So, sino yung nakakuha sa inyo lahat-lahat ng hidden word puzzle natin? Did you get all the correct answers? Okay. So, Krisha, Altea, and Mar uh, Ashley, nakakuha sila ng 8, uh, or nahanap nila yung hidden word puzzle na 8. Actually, we have 10 hidden words here. So, okay. In that case, you have a Milky Way chocolate bar. Okay, so meron kayong tigisang chocolate bar. Of course, that is five points. Okay, so for Krisha, Altea, and um, Kit at the same time, Thea Ashley will receive a Milky Way chocolate bar. That is five points. Okay, so congratulations. Enjoy your virtual Milky Way chocolate bar. Okay. Are you familiar with this game? The four picks one word game. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So let's have another activity. Of course, you have to use the four pictures that you see to guess the jumbled letters that appears at the bottom of the pictures okay so for your answers use paper and write it in capital letters so take note huh? write your answers in capital letters so i will count from one to five and then you have to display your answers on the screen oh of course you makakuha ng tamang sagot they will receive again a prize so are you ready, my dear grade 7, for this activity named 4 picks 1 word? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, so let me see if you're really ready. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you have there the 4 pictures and the jumbled letters in 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, time's up. Show me your answers. What is your answer for these jumbled letters? Yes, Miss Jocelyn Valdibiso. Show me your answers. Mom, atmosphere. Okay, very good. The correct answer is atmosphere. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Atmosphere. So, Miss Jocelyn Valdiviso, this is your prize. You have a face mask. Okay, congratulations, Miss Valdiviso. Your face mask is equivalent to five points. Okay, palakpakan naman natin si Miss Jocelyn Valdiviso. Next, okay, you have there the four pictures. Jumbo letters in one. Two, three, four, five. Yes, uh, Prince Unavia, you're raising your hands. What is the correct answer? Mom, temperature. Very good. That is temperature. How about the others? Please do check your own answers, okay? Be honest. Mom. Prince, you have <laughs> alcohol. Okay, so that is 
another five points. So may we give a round of applause to Prince Unabia. Next, how about this one? So you have there the four pictures. And the jumbled letters at the bottom in one, two, three, four, five. Okay, nauna si Altea. Altea, what is your answer? Height, ma'am. Okay, very good. The correct answer is height. Altea will receive a face shield. Congratulations, Altea. You have a free face shield. So that is another five points. Okay, so yung mga hindi naka, na, nakapag-share na kanilang answer, so madami pang pagkakataon. So, just sit back and relax, then enjoy the this uh, online class. Okay, so how do you find the game? Miss Altea, how do you find the game? Ma'am, nag-focus do ako sa ano, yung pagkakapareho ng bawat pick. Okay, nice answer. Any idea what is our topic for today based from the um, four picks one word game? What do you think is our topic for today? Anyone? Mom Earth's atmosphere, Mom. Okay, nice answer, Miss Daya. It's all about the atmosphere, specifically the layers of the Earth. Atmosphere. Nice answer. If how do we look like if we don't have skin in connection to our topic for today how do we look like if we don't have skin so imagine teacher majorica without her skin ano sa tingin nyo ang itsura ko look like this so imagine ourselves without our skin we look like this what do you think is the role of our skin yes miss grisha tipuk you're raising your head again what do you think is the role of Okay, for protection. So, the basic role, one of the roles of our skin is to protect us from excessive heat that comes from the sun, specifically the ultraviolet ray. So, imagine, uh, kapag walang skin, literal na, nasusunog ang katawan natin. Likewise with the atmosphere. This is the earth with the atmosphere. Then, this is the earth without the atmosphere okay look for the differences what do you notice on the two pictures shown on the screen the earth with the atmosphere the earth without the atmosphere yes i'll tell ya Earth with the atmosphere looks better than the earth without atmosphere ma'am okay it looks better than the Earth without atmosphere. Okay, what else? Any other answers? Yes, Miss Krisha? Without the atmosphere, Mom, our planet is unhealthy. Unhealthy. Okay. So, nangyayari lang yan because of the excessive heat that comes from the sun. So, basically, atmosphere is very important because it serves as protection, especially sa mga living organisms. So, without the atmosphere, including us, we'll die. Okay, so that is the atmosphere. Of course, at the end of this uh, online session or online class, you are able to meet the three objectives. So, what are the three objectives? So, the first one is, kindly read the first one. Yes, Miss Angel Palor, what is the first objective? Identify and describe the features of, atmo of the atmosphere. Oh. Very good. At the end of this online class, you were able to identify and describe the features of the atmosphere. The second one is... Yes, Miss Thea! Discuss the composition of the atmosphere. Very good. You are able to discuss the composition of the atmosphere. 
then the last one miss apes yes miss apes you're raising your hand what is the relate first the in, relate the importance of atmosphere to the human kind okay very good you have to relate the importance of the atmosphere to the human kind so are you ready to know more about the layers of the atmosphere Thumbs up yes if you're yes, ready okay so i have here a video discussing to you the different layers of the atmosphere open your eyes and of course your ears please take down important details for you to answer the different questions later on for the Q and A portion. So, are you ready? So are you ready? Enjoy the Just video. Video. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Guys, the 
temperatura na rin sa layer na ito ay tumataas o liinit with increasing altitude. Sa stratosphere din natin makikita pa ang ozone layer. Ang ozone layer ay matatagpuan ang molecules na open. Ozone is an oxygen that filters and absorbs excessive UVR or ultraviolet rays that comes from the sun. Hindi gaya ng troposphere, ang stratosphere ay walang bulang. This is the reason why kung bakit madaming yung nilipad na aircraft. Because it is very stable and calm. Now, let's move on to the third layer. The third layer is the mesosphere. The mesosphere comes from the word meso, which means middle. Dahil sa limang layer, ang mesosphere ang nasa gila. The mesosphere extends from the stratosphere to 80 to 85 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The oxygen in this layer is very thick and very thin. This is the reason why mahihirapan na tayo mong kumina kapag nasa mesosphere na tayo. Nakakita na ba ng shooting star? Actually, they are not shooting star. Instead, meters in the mesosphere. Nakakalabas ang meters na nanawang output layer dahil walang masyadong air particles. I have been. Kapag nakapasa man sa layer of mesosphere, there is enough air particles to cause frequent and to create heat. This is why yung giliyaw o umaapoy sila. Tulad ng troposphere, the mesosphere that's the nature decreases with height. Meaning to say, habang tumataas ka, ay bumaba pa naman ang temperatura. The mesosphere has an average temperature of negative 90 degrees Celsius. The vapor in this layer is frozen and it forms ice clouds. Ito ang dahilan kung bakit na ang mga displaced on Earth. Now, let's move on to the fourth layer. The video is all about the layers of the atmosphere, ma'am. Nice answer! So the video is all about the layers of the Earth's atmosphere. And it's, of course, composition. Okay, so let's see kung nag-take down kayo. Because we will have the Q&A portion. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. So I have here... The 
face shield box. So inside of it are your names. So a while ago, while checking the attendance, I was able to write your names and put it inside of this box. So for the Q&A portion, so kukuha ko dito ng isang pangalan, then you have to answer the question. So are you ready, my dear Kaagha Amazing? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Miss Teya. Ready si Miss Teya. How about the others? Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. So, atmosphere. So, we will talk about the atmosphere. So, based from the video, the atmosphere comes from the two Greek words, atmos, which means? Vapor, ma'am. Vapor. Very good. And how about the other Greek word? Yes, this one is Spira or which means fear or fall. So those are the two Greek words comes from the word atmosphere. So basically the atmosphere is the layer of gases surrounding the planet Earth. So of course it serves as protection from excessive heat that comes from the sun, specifically the ultraviolet rays. Okay. Are you ready for the Q&A? All right. First, to answer the first question, Miss Bido. A Bido are the main components based from the video presented. So, a Bido, please help Miss Jocelyn Valdibiso. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and carbon dioxide, ma'am. All right, so those are very good, Miss Epido. So those are the main components of our atmosphere. You have there the nitrogen, which is 78%, the oxygen, 21%, carbon dioxide, 0.04%, and of course, the other gases like argon is 0.96%. So those are, take note, uh, those are the main components of our atmosphere. Fear. Thank you, Miss Abito. Next question. Yan. Miss Tipuk, this is your question. How many layers do we have? Five layers. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are five layers. And what are those five layers? Troposphere, ma'am, stratosphere, yes. mesosphere, yes. thermosphere, and exosphere, ma'am. Very good. So, those are the five layers. May we give uh, Krisha T. Book a round of applause, please. So you have there the troposphere, stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, and of course, the exosphere. So those are the five layers of the atmosphere. Can you give me the mnemonics for you to easily memorize the uh, layers of the Earth's atmosphere based from the video, not the silly mouse tries to escape. Okay, T for troposphere, S for stratosphere, M for mesosphere, T for thermosphere, and E for exosphere. So, that is the mnemonics for you to easily memorize the different layers of the atmosphere. Next question. Since troposphere is the first layer of the atmosphere, what are the common scenes that we usually observe in this layer? Yes, Miss Krisha. Weather phenomenon, ma'am. Okay, so weather phenomenon like what? Typh um typhoons, ma'am, keep floods. Typhoons, floods, lightning, ma'am. 
Yes, and of course, thunderstorm. Uh, we have also the hurricane. So, those are the common scenes that we usually observe in the troposphere. So, troposphere is the first layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Of course, this is the nearest layer to the Earth's surface. This is where we live. Okay. The average height of troposphere is 13 kilometers. So, with uh, 30 degrees, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius to negative 60 degrees Celsius. It has also the decreasing temperature with increasing altitude. This is the reason why Baguio and Tagaytay e malalamig sa lugar na yon. Okay? So, these are the common scenes that we usually observe in the troposphere. We, of course, we have the rain, thunderstorm, then of course, it has also the clouds in the sky okay so that is the troposphere what is the next layer the next layer is the stratosphere what are the common scenes that we usually observe in this layer okay. to answer the question we have Mary Joy what is all about this layer what are the common scenes that we usually observed Mom, ozone is an oxygen molecule that filters and absorbs excessive um, UVR coming from the sun. All right, in this layer, dito natin makikita yung tinatawag nating ozone layer. The ozone layer has the ozone molecules that usually absorb UVR or ultraviolet rays that comes from the sun okay so the stratosphere is the second layer of the earth's atmosphere take note that in between the troposphere and the stratosphere is the tropopause okay the average height of stratosphere is 32 kilometers from the troposphere okay so it has a temperature of negative 60 degrees celsius to negative 50 degrees celsius it has also the increasing temperature with increasing altitude. So as you go higher, nagi increase din yung temperature. Compared to a uh, troposphere, mas mainit sa stratosphere. So, strong steady winds compared to troposphere, walang cloud sa stratosphere. Dito din natin makikita ang ozone layer as I said a while ago that protects us from excessive heat that comes from the sun. So, it is very important for us to protect the um, ozone layer. Avoid ozone depletion. So, these are the common scenes that we usually observe in the uh, stratosphere. Alright, since walang masyadong ulap dito, malayang nakakapaglipad ang mga aircraft like this. In. Okay, so that is the second layer which is the stratosphere. Now, let's move on to the third layer which is the mesosphere. So, what are the common scenes that we usually observe in this layer? Okay, to answer the question, we have another Kit Agluba. The oxygen here is free. Temperature decrease 90 Celsius. Okay, thank you, Miss Kit. So, based from the video presented, uh, in this layer, natin makikita ang sinasabi natin. Nature's map. Okay, has an average height of 80 to 85 kilometers. And it has a temperature of negative 90, mm -hmm. negative 90 degrees Celsius. Very good, Miss Teya. With the decreasing temperature, with increasing altitude. So take note of that. Uh, as you go higher with increasing altitude, the temperature is... Decreasing. Yeah. Okay, very good. Decrease, decreasing. Compared to other uh, layers with increasing temperature at the same time increasing altitude like the troposphere. Okay? So, common scenes that we usually observe where we can find meters. 
Let's have the next layer which is the thermosphere. Wait! Miss Bahe! Hindi kanina nagsalita si Miss Bahe, right? Miss Bahe, what are the common scenes that we usually observe in this layer, Miss Bahe? Are you still there, Miss Bahe? Miss Bahe. Oh, Thea, you're raising your hands. What are the common scenes that we usually observe? Aurora, ma'am. Ma'am, Aurora light. Okay, very good. Dito natin makikita ang Aurora light. Borealis and Aurora Australis. Okay, thermosphere is the fourth layer, of course, and it is above the mesosphere. Take note that in between the mesosphere and thermosphere is the mesopause with an average height of 573 kilometers. And of course, the temperature is 1,500 degrees Celsius, ma'am. Very good, Miss Palor. 1,500 degrees Celsius. So, could you imagine that if we human, and nasa layer na ito, so sobrang init na talaga. So, hindi na kayang i-absorb ng katawan natin yung too much heat. Okay, so, the temperature is increasing or decreasing? <laughs> Okay, very good. The temperature is increasing at the same time the altitude increasing. So as you go higher, the temperature increasing, the altitude increasing. Okay. So the common scenes. Dito natin nakikita ano ang auroras like aurora borealis and aurora australis. Now let's move on to the last layer, which is exosphere. Very good. The exhaust fear. Okay, raise your hands if you want to say something about this layer. Anyone? Yes, Miss Altea. Exhaust fear has the average height of 16,000 to 28,000 28, km. Man. Okay, very good. Any other answer? Or yes, Miss Grisha. You're raising your hand. <laughs> The exosphere is the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Very good. So, as you said a while ago, Miss Thea, the average height of this layer is 16,000 to 28,000 kilometers with increasing temperature and, of course, with increasing altitude. Heavily, it is composed of hydrogen and helium okay so above the thermosphere any question about the different layers of the earth's atmosphere once again what are the five layers of the earth's atmosphere yes miss angel palor what are the five layers stratosphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere man. Okay, very good. So those are the five layers of the atmosphere. Now, let's move on. Again, for the Q&A, let's see if you really understand the different layers. Now, answer this question. What do you think is the basis for the division of our atmosphere? Yes, Ms. Teya? Mom, the atmosphere can be divided into layers based on its temperature. Okay, very good. Based on its temperature variation. Next question. In what layers of the atmosphere does temperature increase with height? Anyone who wants to answer this question? Yes, Miss Jello Ebito. Hello? Thermosphere. Uh-huh. Is it only thermosphere? How about the other layers? Like? Stratosphere. Yes. Stratosphere, ma'am. Okay, very good. So we have the stratosphere, the thermosphere, and the last one, the outermost layer, which is exosphere. Very good. Egg temperature increase with height. So take note of that: the stratosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Remember. The troposphere and mesosphere with decreasing temperature with increasing altitude. The stratosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere 
increasing temperature with increasing altitude. Okay, in the troposphere, why do you think temperature decreases as altitude increases? Anyone who wants to answer this question, Miss Palor. Ma'am, because 99% of the water vapor are found in the troposphere. Very good! It is because the farther away from the surface the air moves, the less heat there is to absorb. Another question, what, why do you think the temperature in the stratosphere increases with height? Yes, Miss Tibuk. Because the ozone layer absorbs the greater part of the solar or the violet radiation. Okay, very good. Nice answer. Optically, the layer is of the atmosphere. Thank you, Miss Krisha. Now, here it is. The atmosphere helps us in many ways. So, what are those ways? Kindly give one. Yes, Miss Tibuk. Um, it helps us to protect ourselves from the intense heat and light coming from the sun. Okay, very good. Protects us from the intense heat that comes from the sun. The atmosphere rather helps us in many ways. The first one is atmosphere contains oxygen that living beings need to breathe. Okay, very good. It protects the surface against falling meteorites. Another, it is a shield against radiation and cosmic rays. Also, another, it maintains the Earth's temperature. Another, it facilitates the formation of clouds which become rain later. And the last one, it contains carbon dioxide that plants need for photosynthesis to produce food. Okay, question. As a concerned citizen, okay, how can you help protect of our atmosphere? As Miss Antonio Altea, avoid burning garbage, yes, ma'am. Avoid burning garbage, yes, like plastics, ma'am. Okay, very good, plastics. Next, Miss Jello Ebido, how can you help protect of our atmosphere? Stop cutting trees, ma'am. Stop cutting, please. Very good. Okay, next. Yes, Miss Tibuk. Mom, um, let us produce clean energy. Mom, mag mom, hindi tayo magproproduce ng mga hindi na kinakailangan na energy, such as yung pag nagmamotor tayo. Um, okay, very good. <laughs> In that case, you are able to protect the atmosphere. Okay, any other answer? Miss Gallardo. Mom, reduce, reuse, and recycle, ma'am. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Very good. So those are the uh, different ways on how to protect the atmosphere. Okay, so is there any question about the different layers of the atmosphere? And of course, the composition, the, the main composition of the layers of the Earth's atmosphere, the ways on how to protect it. Is there any question? None. None. Oh, if none, let's have a quick quiz. Buhay pa ba kayo? Of course, kasi sumasagot pa kayo sa akin. Let's have a quick quiz. Bring out your, of course, meron tayong pencil or ball pen dyan. And of course, your uh, paper. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Thank you, Miss Tibuk. First question. What layer of the atmosphere where humans lived and weather activity occurs? Next question, the layer of the atmosphere where meteors and rock fragments melt. Next, what layer of the atmosphere where temperature is increasing with height? And the last question, which of the following is seen in the thermosphere? Is it aurora, ozone, or meteors? Okay, let's check your answers. For the first question, what is your answer? Miss Krisha Tibuk, what is your answer? Troposphere, ma'am. Very good. It is 
troposphere, the first layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, now, let's move on to the second question, which is the layer of the atmosphere where meteors and rock fragments melt. Mesosphere, the third question, what layer of the atmosphere where temperature is increasing with height? And stratosphere. And the last question, which of the following is seen in the thermosphere? Is it aurora, ozone, or the meteors? The answer is aurora like the aurora borealis and aurora australis. Show me your ano, the results of your quick quiz. Very good, Miss Angel. Nakuha niya lahat. So, ibig sabihin, naintindihan niya. How about the others? Miss Krisha Tibok, itaas mo anak. Can't see it. Okay, perfect score. In that case, congratulations to all of you. So, let's have the awarding for the special awards like uh, yung ano natin kanina, camera awards. Later on, ipopost ko sa GC natin kasi naka-screen record naman to. For the meantime, ito muna ang marereceive ninyo. The Certificate of Participation. This is 10 points for actively participated in this virtual school at home in Science 7, date June 15, 2021. So, magsisend later ako ng a link para ma-download nyo yung certificate ninyo. Okay, despite of the internet connection, you are able to join um uh, with me in this with Ma'am uh, Benigna Tabaco in this virtual school at home in Science 7. So, the first part of this uh, virtual class, I ask you to open your camera uh, hanggang matapos kasi you will receive this uh, award, the camera award and that is 5 points. And of course, avoided distractions, 5 points. Then participated in class discussions, 10 points. And of course, finish all the tasks, 10 points. Congratulations in advance sa makaka-receive dito mamaya. So, ipopost ko. So, titignan ko kung sino yung mga makakakuha dito. So, are you happy with the uh, results of this uh, online class? Yes, ma'am. Is there yes, any question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma enjoy ba kayo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, thank you so much. In that case, let's call it a day. Once again, this is Teacher Majori Camillian from our beloved school, Santa Teresita National High School. Let's have a moment of science, imagine, invent, and inspire. If you want to watch the video presented a while ago, please visit my YouTube channel, uh, the Loop Ag Amazing TV may mga uh, videos doon na uh, educational videos na makakatulong sa inyo. Okay? In that case, good day everyone. Thank you my dear grade 7.